Hello, Mr. Turner? Yes. Hi, my name is Ashley. I am a student nurse practitioner. Today we will be doing a complete head-to-toe assessment along with a mental status exam. Um, it will be quite long and extensive, so if you have any questions, just feel free to stop me along the way. Um, any questions before we get started? Nope. No? Okay, so before you came into the examination room, we did some measurements and vitals on you. Your height is 5 feet 10 inches. Your weight was 190 pounds. Your temperature was 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Your heart rate was 62 beats per minute. Your respiratory rate was 15 breaths per minute. Your blood pressure was 114 over 58. Your oxygen was 98% on room air. And on a scale from zero to 10, zero being no pain, 10 being the worst pain you've ever had in your entire life, um, how would you rate your pain? Zero. Okay, you have no pain. Um, so we are gonna start the mental status exam. Um, I will be asking you a bunch of different questions. I just would like for you to answer them the best you can, okay? Okay. All right, what is your full name? Christian Turner. What year is it? It's 2023. What month is it? It's August. What day of the week is it? Tuesday. And what is today's date? It's the 15th. What season are we in? Summer. What country are we in? United States. What county are we in? Cuyahoga. What town are we in? Old Brooklyn. What room of this house are we in? The guest room. And what floor are we on? The second floor. Okay, you are alert. Awake and oriented times three. You have appropriately answered all my questions. Um, what is this? A watch. What is this? Pen. Okay, and repeat this phrase after me. No ifs and or buts. <clears throat> no ifs and or buts. Okay, I'm going to hold up this piece of paper um, with the command on it. I would just like for you to read it out loud and then follow it. Close your eyes. All right, very good. Um, now I'm going to give you... This piece of paper, I would like for you to grab it with your right hand and take both of your hands and fold it in half and just place it next to you. Okay, and now I'm going to give you this clipboard and a pencil. And on that piece of paper are two shapes I would just like for you to draw them right next to it. All right, very good. And I take that. And I take that. All right, so next I'm going to say some numbers and I would like for you to repeat them back to me. You listen first and then repeat back to me. Five, two, nine, one, three, six. Five, two, nine, one, three, six. Okay, and now I would like you to subtract seven from 50 and then seven from that answer until your answer is eight. So 50 minus seven is 43, 43 minus seven is 36. 36 minus 7 is 29, 29 minus 7 is 22, 22 minus 7 is 15, and 15 minus 7 is 8. Okay, and can you spell the word world backwards? D-L-R-O-W. All right, very good. Um, <clears throat> what did you have for dinner last night? Chipotle. Um, where did you attend high school? LaSalle High School. Okay. Um, I am going to tell you three objects. I would like for you to repeat them back to me and memorize them, and we will. I will ask you about them later. Okay. Apple. Apple. Table. Table. Pen. Pen. Okay. Say them one more time for me. Apple. Table. Pen. Okay. Um, I am going to tell you a couple analogies, starting with some objects. I would like for you to tell me what is similar about them. Peaches and lemons. Fruits. Ocean and lake. Bodies of water. Trumpet and flute. Music instruments. <clears throat> okay. Um, can you tell me what many hands make light work? What does that mean? Uh, working as a team makes things easier. Okay. Can you use this comb and comb your hair for me? Okay. Take that back. Thank you. Um, can you repeat those three objects to me? Apple, table, pen. Okay. Very good. Um, and what would you do if a police officer 
gave you a ticket because you drove through the red light. I would accept my ticket, be respectful, and move on. Okay, very good. So now we're going to move into some emotional stability portion of the exam. Over the past two weeks, have you felt down, depressed, or hopeless? No. Over the past two weeks, have you felt little interest or pleasure in doing things? No. Have you ever wished you were dead or wished you would go to sleep and not wake up? No. Have you ever actually had any thoughts of killing yourself? No. Do you have any thoughts related to fears, guilt, or making decisions? No. Do you ever feel like you're being watched or followed? No. Do you have any obsessive thoughts, compulsive behaviors, phobias, or anxieties that interfere with your daily life? No. Okay. Do you ever experience any perceptual distortions or hallucinations? No. Okay. Very good. So throughout the exam, I was just evaluating your speech and your voice has been clear and strong, your articulation is clear, and you have no abnormal communication characteristics and no expressive or receptive aphasia. So that'll complete um, the mental state examination. Now we are going to move on to the head to toe. All right, so starting with your skin, nails, and hair, um, just going to inspect your skin your skin color is appropriate for an African-American male. Um, your texture is smooth. The hair on your arms and your legs are evenly distributed. Um, do you have any tattoos? No tattoos. Okay, no tattoos. One earring hole in each ear. S maybe a once a keloid scar here on your right upper arm. Um, next, I'm just going to palpate your skin. Your skin is warm, it's dry, it's intact. I see no lesions, no masses. Any pain or tenderness? No. No? Okay. Um, let me see your fingernails. Okay, just inspecting your nails. Your nails are all intact. Um, your nail beds are pink. Your nail plate is firm and translucent. I'm checking for capillary refill, which is less than two seconds in all of your fingers. Just looking for any clubbing, no clubbing present. Um, I'm gonna move to the hair on your head. I'm just gonna inspect it. Your hair is black, um, wavy texture. I see no open lesions or masses, no lice, um, no balding spots, no indication of any hair loss. Just going to palpate your head. Your head is round, symmetrical. There's no bulges or depressions that could indicate some sort of trauma. Any pain or tenderness? No. No? Okay, so I'm just gonna look at your face now. Your facial features are appropriate. They're symmetrical. They're in proportion with each other. Um, next, I'm going to... <laughs> Um, palpate your temporal pulse. Okay, temporal pulse is palpable, is two plus bilaterally. Um, next I'm going to palpate your frontal and maxillary sinuses. Let me know if you have any pain or tenderness. Anything? No. What about on your ear? No. No pain or tenderness of your sinuses. Um, next, I'm just going to inspect your neck. Your neck is symmetrical. Your trachea is midline. There is no obvious masses, bulges, or deviations. I'm just going to palpate. Trachea is moving side to side smoothly. Swallow for me. Okay, your hyoid bone moved with swallowing. I'm going to now assess your thyroid. I'm going to have you swing your legs to the side because I have to assess from the back. I'm just going to palpate your thyroid. Any pain or tenderness? No. No lumps, nodules, masses. Um, <clears throat> consistency is normal. Swallow for me. Okay, very good. You can have you swing your legs back over. Um, next, I'm going to palpate your lymph nodes. Let me know if you have any pain or tenderness along the way, okay? Any pre auricular, post auricular, 
occipital, submandibular, submental, helping along the sternocleidomastoid, got anterior cervical, posterior cervical, and then supraclavicular. Okay, and any pain or tenderness? No. Okay, no lymphadenopathy. Uh, now I'm just going to use the bell of my stethoscope and auscultate for over first over your temporal arteries. I'm just listening for any bruise. I'm gonna go over your eyes. You can keep your eyes shut. And then I'm gonna go over your thyroid. All right, no bruise present. Next, we are going to start the eye exam. Um, I'm going to have you stand up. I have a Snellen eye chart on the wall. And you put your feet right where that piece of tape is because that will indicate six feet. And I want you to read the smallest line possible. Cover your left eye for me. L, T, F, P, H. Okay, and then get your vision back, and then I'll have you cover your right eye, and then do it with your left. L, T, F, P, H. Okay, very good. Vision is 20 20. Now, if you take a seat, I'm going to do the confrontation test, um, just assessing your peripheral vision. I'm going to cover close my left eye, you're gonna close your right eye, and then you tell me when you see my fingers moving, okay? Keep no. looking at me. No. No. Okay, and then you close your left eye, I'm gonna close my right eye. Tell me when you see my fingers. No. 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 Okay, your peripheral vision is intact. Um, now I'm just going to look at your eyes. Your eyes are, your eyes are symmetrical, your eyebrows and eyelashes, the hair is evenly distributed, um, around your eye area, there's no puffiness, um, no drainage, um, open your eyes, close them, open them, no lid lag, your eyelids move symmetrically. I am just going to now palpate over your eyes, so just close them for me really quick. Any pain or tenderness? Mm. Okay, no nodules. Um, now I'm gonna get a little bit closer with my inspection. Um, just gonna pull your eyelids down. Keep your eyes open for me. Eyes open. Okay, your tongue and tie is pink. Your sclera is white. Your iris is brown. You have some vasculature. No excessive drainage from your lacrimal glands. <sighs> um, no foreign bodies. I am now going to Look at your pupils. Look forward, look straight ahead. Just looking at the side. Your pupils are round, they're black, they're a three on both sides. I'm going to shine the light into your eyes two times on each side. Just check for some consensual light re reaction, okay? Just look straight ahead for me. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. Just look straight ahead. Your lights, your eyes constricted to about a two when the light was shined, so you're, um, they are reactive to light. Now I'm going to have you look at a faraway object, and then I'm going to put my finger here, and I just want you to follow my finger in. Okay, your pupils converged and constricted, so your pupils are equal, round, and reactive to light and accommodation. Um, now I'm just going to check your extraocular muscles of your eye. I'm just going to have you follow my hand, finger, okay? Okay, very good. No nystigmus. Your, your eyes were able to follow my finger. Um, no jerking of your eyes. Now we're going to be begin the ophthalmoscope exam. I'm going to turn off the light and close the window just to make it a little darker in here so I can visualize better. Um, right hand, right eye. 
going to have you look forward, okay? Just looking for the red reflex. Red reflex is visualized. You're going to just come in. There we go. And look, I see blood vessels. They're not narrowed or dilated. Your optic disc is yellowish orange. See the macula, it's like kind of a dullish reddish color. And then in the middle is the fovea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Just look straight ahead for me. reflux moving into the retina, optic disc, blood vessels, and the macula. All visualized, no abnormalities um, for the eye exam. Um, I'm going to turn the light back on, open the window. Next, we are going to move to the ears. Inspection and palpation first. Your ears are both in alignment. They're symmetrical bilaterally. Um, I see no drainage coming out of your ears. Um, I'm just gonna palpate them, kind of doing a little tug test along the ears and the pinna and the oracle. Any pain or tenderness? Nope. No? Okay. Um, let me grab my otoscope. going to first palpate your mastoid process, which is um, the landmark behind your ears. Any pain or tenderness? No. Okay, very good. I'm um, just going to look in your ears now. First, just looking at the outside of the ear. Like I said, no drainage, no redness, um, no indication of any inflammation. I am going to lift your ear up and out and just gently look inside. Um, a little bit of cerumen, no bleeding, tympanic membranes, pearly gray, no redness, swelling, no perforation. And do the same thing on the other side. Okay, very good. Um, no difficulty hearing. Okay, I'm just gonna perform the whisper test on you. I'm gonna have you cover your ear and then whisper the word back to me, okay? Cover your ear for me. Baseball. And then cover your other ear. Apple. Okay. No difficulty hearing. If I had a tune fork, I would perform the Ryan and Weber test, um, but I do not have that. Weber test is when I put the tune fork in the middle of your head and you would let me know which where you hear the noise the loudest. You should be able to hear them symmetrically in your ears. Um, the Weber test just conducts the difference between air and bone conduction. Conduction. We would put the tune fork on your mastery process and hover it above your ear and you let me, me know what you hear. Well, technically you're supposed to hear the air twice as long as bone conduction. So but I don't have a tuning fork. So next we're going to do the nose. Inspect and palpate your nose. Your nose is symmetrical, it's midline. It's in proportion with your other facial features. Um, I'm just going to palpate it. Any pain or tenderness? No. No displacement, no deviations, no masses, lesions. Um, just gonna check for pain and see them. Have you sniff in? And sniff in. Okay, your nares are patent. I am going to now just look up your nose. No drainage, no bleeding, no deviations. Your septum is midline. Your turbinates are not inflamed. Um, now we're going to do the mouth and the throat. Your mouth is symmetrical. It's midline. Your lips are pink. They're moist. There's no cracking or chapping. Can you smile for me? Okay. Your teeth are white. They're all intact. They're aligned. Um, I'm going to have you open your mouth for me. Tongue is pink and moist. Your buccal mucosa is pink and moist. Your gums are pink and moist. Um, your soft and hard palate. 
Um, move your tongue up, down, side to side. Okay, stick your tongue out for me. Say ah. Ah. Okay, your uvula rose with phonation. I'm going to elicit the gag reflex on you. So open up and just touch the posterior part of your throat. Okay, and also open your mouth one more time. Stick your tongue out. Both, stick your tongue out. Both your tonsils are present. They are pink. There's no white patches. They don't look enlarged. Um, next, we are going to do the chest and the lungs. Uh, first, I'm just going to your posture is upright. You're not in a tripod position. You're not leaning forward. You're not short of breath. Your breathing has been regular and unlabored throughout this exam. Um, you have not used any accessory muscles. Just gonna unbutton your gown, expose your chest. I'm just going to palpate. Skin is warm. I'm also palpating for any crepitus, which would indicate air in the subcutaneous tissues. You can feel your lungs. Um, and your ribs, they're downward sloped. Um, I am going to have you swing your legs to the side again for me. I'm just checking for thoracic expansion. Maybe turn a little bit more if you can. Thank you. I'm just going to pinch your skin in. I'm going to have you take a deep breath in and out. And one more time. Okay, my thumbs moved apart symmetrically. Um, you have equal and symmetrical um, thoracic expansion. Now I'm just going to have you say 99 when I put my hands on your back. I'm just checking for tact tactile feminus, which is a vibration heard. Go ahead. 99. 99. 99. Okay, I felt the vibration. Um, next, I'm just going to have you stay this way because I'm going to percuss along your back. Um, should hear... Uh, some resonant sounds. Ready? Lift this arm up for me. Thank you. Lift this arm up for me. Okay, I'm going to just come along the front and just percuss in the front as well. Okay, resonance is heard throughout all anterior, posterior, and laterally. Um, now I'm just going to check for diaphragmatic excursion. So I'm just going to start up and work my way down. Um, but I'm, having you, I'm gonna have you take a deep breath in and hold it, okay? Sit, let me sit up for me, please. Okay, deep breath in and hold it. I'm listening for dullness. Okay, you can breathe normal. I'm just going to mark this area. And then I'm gonna start from that point on and work my way up. But this time I'm gonna have you hold your exhale, okay? So whenever you're ready, just deep breath in, deep breath out, and hold it. Now I'm just listening for resonance. Okay, breathe normal. Very good. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Whenever you're ready, um, have you take a deep breath in and hold it. Okay. And then whenever you're ready, I'm going to have you hold your exhale. And you can breathe normal. 
I'm going to measure the distance. So on your left side, your excursion distance is four centimeters and also four centimeters on your, on your right hand side, okay? Now I'm just going to auscultate and listen with the diaphragm of my stethoscope. I'll start on the back, we'll do your sides and work our way to the front, okay? okay. I'm just gonna have you take deep breaths in and out, okay? okay. Swing your legs to the front, and I'll just let you cut your breath for a minute, and then we'll listen on the front, okay? You just let me know whenever you're ready. Right. Okay. And deep breath. All right. So you have clear vesicular lung sounds, um, no adventitious sounds, no crackles, ronchi, wheezing, or um, were auscultated. One more thing, I'm just gonna listen for voice resonance. I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna put my stethoscope on your back and I'm just going to have you say one, two, three, okay? I need that. One, two, three. 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 Okay, no increase or decrease in your vocal resonance. Um, next, we are going to do the cardiac assessment. Um, just gonna notify some landmarks. So this is the sternum. We have your left sternal border, your right sternal border, and then the apex of your heart is here at the base of the heart where your point of maximal impulse is. Uh, I'm just gonna inspect your chest and your precordium. Um, just looking for any heaves or lifts or pulsations. Um, just gonna look to see if your apical impulse is visible, which it's okay if it's not. Okay. Um, I'm just going to now palpate along all of the valves for any thrills. Just gonna palpate for the apical pulse. All right, which I feel it. I'm gonna also have you lay on your left side and I'm going to feel for the apical pulse while you're laying on your left side as well. Okay, apical pulse. Pulse is palpable. Um, you can just um, sit back up for us. Now I'm just gonna auscultate, first using the diaphragm of my stethoscope and then using the belt for murmurs at all the valves. Aortic. Pulmonic. Herbs point. My cuspid and then mitral. Mitral is where the S1 is heard the loudest, and then pulmonic is where S2 is the loudest. S1 is to our regular, your rhythm is regular. Um, I hear no additional um, heart sounds, no split, split sounds. Um, now I'm just going to listen with the bell of my stethoscope for any breweries at the same exact locations. All right, 
no bruises. No murmurs were heard. Um, now we're going to do the abdomen. Um, I'm just going to have you lay down. First, I'm just going to inspect your abdomen. Your abdomen is flat. Um, your umbilicus is midline. It is symmetrical. Um, your skin is intact. There's no open wounds. There's no drains. Um, just kind of looking to see if there's any surface motion that could indicate bowels moving. Um, Next, I'm just going to come to the feet and look for, to see if I can see an aortic pulsation. Just coming down looking at the feet. Okay, no, no aortic pulsation is visualized. Um, have you lift your head up? Okay, abdominal muscles are present. No separation of muscles, no hernias. Put your head back down. No lesions, masses, scars, no varicosities, no stretch marks. Um, next, I am going to auscultate the bowel sounds in all four quadrants, starting with the right lower. Right upper, left upper, left lower. Abdominal sounds are present in all four quadrants. They are normal and they're just active. Um, if I didn't hear bowel sounds, I would listen for up to five minutes in each quadrant. <sighs> Next, I'm going to listen for bruises at some arteries, okay? Just using the bell of my stethoscope, listen at the aorta, a abdominal aorta. Renal arteries. Iliac, and then the femoral. No breeze. Uh, next, I'm going to percuss in all four quadrants. I should hear timpani. Tiffany in all quadrants. Now I'm just going to percuss um, for the liver. Just going to go to the right side. Listen for some dullness. Have you take a deep breath in. Okay, dullness over the liver. Come to the left side and should hear a gastric bubble, which would be timpani because it's full of air. And then have you take a deep breath in over here. I'm listening for spleen dullness, splenic dullness, which I don't hear, um, which is normal. If I did, that would indicate that the spleen is enlarged. Um, I'm just going to percuss for the liver border span. So I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. Ready? I'm going to take a deep breath in and just hold it. And breathe normal. Okay, and then and I'm gonna measure the distance. Liver span is six centimeters, which is normal. Next, I'm just going to palpate in all the quadrants. Let me know if you have any pain or tenderness, okay? Yes. I'm going to palpate your abdomen now and let me know if you have any pain yes. or yes. tenderness. Yes, yes, yes. No pain. No tenderness. All right, now we're going to do a deep palpation. I'm going to use two hands and just go in all four quadrants and around the umbilicus and the umbilical ring. Any pain or tenderness? No. Okay, abdomen is soft. I'm feeling no masses. 
I'm going to depalpate for the liver border. Liver border is firm, it's smooth. I'm going to palpate for the gallbladder, which is not palpable. Any pain or tenderness? No. If pain or tenderness is felt, it could indicate inflammation of the gallbladder. Come to the other side, I'm going to palpate for the spleen, which is also not be palpable. If it was, that would indicate an enlarged spleen. Um, going to just palpate for your kidneys. right kidney and the left not palpable which is also normal um, and then I'm just going to palpate to your abdominal aorta and see if there's a pulsation all right very good um, next I'm going to have you sit up kind of other way have your feet I'm going to um, palpate or percuss your toss over tibral angles, maybe turn a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. Let me know if you have any pain or tenderness, okay? Anything? No. Anything? No. Okay, now I'm just going to do direct. Any pain or tenderness? No. Any pain or tenderness? No. If there was, it could indicate um, some, maybe some sort of kidney infection, but no pain or tenderness. Okay, you can lay back down. We are going to start, I'm gonna assess um, your uh, blood vessels, just generally look at your skin. Your skin is like appropriate, there's no indication of cyanosis. Your hair is kind of evenly distributed, like I mentioned earlier. Um, you have no, I'm just gonna palpate, like I said, your extremities are warm. Um, you have no hitting edema. Any pain or tenderness down here? No. No pain or tenderness. No varicose veins. Um, next, I'm just going to palpate pulses, starting at your carotid artery. Turn your head for me, please. Just relax. Okay, and then the other way. Okay, very good. Arm straight. Do your brachial arteries. Okay, and then we'll do your radial, and then we'll do the femoral, and then I'm going to take your socks off, and then posterior tibialis, dorsalis pedis. All pulses are symmetrical and amplitude and rhythm they are two plus they are strong and palpable um next i am going to auscultate your carotid arteries for bruise i'm gonna have you turn your head please towards the wall and just breathe no actually hold your breath take a deep breath in and hold it okay very good and have you turn your head the other way and do the same exact thing. Relax and take a deep breath in and hold it. Okay, no bruise. I'm just gonna take out my pen light and assess for any jugular vein distension in your neck. Turn your head the other way for me. Just looking for the jugular vein, which is over the sternocleidomastoid mastoid muscle looking for any pulsations. I'll have you sit up for me, please. Now I'm just gonna look at you sitting up. Okay. No jugular vein distension. Um, next, we are going to start the neurological exam. So we already assessed a lot of your cranial nerves. Um, so close your eyes for me. Can you tell me what this smells like? Okay, very good. Um, we did the optic, ocular, motor, trochlear, and abducens um, nerves. When we did the eye exam, the Snell and eye chart, the confrontation exam. Your eyes are pupil. Your pupils are equal, round, reactive, polite, and accommodation. Um, and you have you have your peripheral vision is intact. Um, we're gonna do the trigeminal nerve now. I'm just going to close your eyes and let me know if you feel anything. Um, 
your sensation of the face is intact. Can I have you wrinkle your forehead? Um, squeeze your eyes shut. Smile, frown, um, puff out your cheeks. Okay, that is the facial nerve. Your hearing's been intact. We did the ear exam already. That would be the acoustic. The glossopharyngeal, you already demonstrated the ability to swallow, swallow for me. Okay, and then for the vagal, open your mouth. Say ah. Ah. Your uvula rises with phonation. We already elicited the gag reflex. We're not going to do that again. And then for spinal accessory, it's for your shoulder and neck muscles. Lift your shoulders up. Okay, very good. Turn your head to the side. Push against my hand. Push against the other hand. Okay, and then stick your tongue out. Move it up, down, side to side. So you, um, so your tongue is able to move. Um, now we are going to do some cerebellar function tests. I'm going to have you um, put your hands on your thighs, palms down, and then palms up and increase in rhythm and rate. Okay, very good. Um, um, your movements were executed. Um, now I'm going to have you follow your index finger from your nose to my index finger, okay? So touch your nose and then follow my finger. Okay, we're gonna do the other hand now. Okay, very good. And I'm gonna have you stand up, walk to the door. Your gait is normal. Your arms are swinging side to side. Okay, <laughs> walk back one more time. <laughs> and then come back. Stand still, stop, put that down. Oh, we're going to just have you have your hands to the side, feet together, and close your eyes. You're performing the Romberg test, um, just checking for balance, just for a couple seconds. And very good, your Romberg test is negative, you can come back. Now we're going to do some sensory tests. Um, for the, all of these exams, I'm going to have you close your eyes, okay? So I am going to have something sharp and something soft. Um, I want you to tell me, verbalize where I touched on your body and if it was sharp or if it was soft. Ready? Uh, my left arm soft. Right arm sharp. Right arm soft. Left arm sharp. Left leg sharp. Right leg sharp. Right leg soft. Left leg soft. Left cheek soft. Right cheek sharp. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to take your hand. I'm going to take this index finger and you let me know if I moved it up or down. Up. Uh, next, I'm going to give you an object in your hand. I'd like for you to identify it. The key. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a figure in your palm. I would like for you to tell me what it is. Eight. Okay, and let me do the other side. Three. Okay. Now I'm going to do two point discrimination. I want you to identify if I'm touching you with one or two points. Let me just, you can open your eyes. I just want to show you. So this will be like one point mm -hmm. and then this will be two points. Okay. Okay. All right. Close your eyes and let me know if it's one or two. Two. Um, next, I'm just going to touch your skin. I want you to point to where I touched, okay? All right, very good. Now we are going to, I'm going to have you lay down. And I'm going to do the plantar reflex. I'm going to strike, stroke your foot from um, lateral, starting at the heel moving up to the ball of your foot medially, okay? And then do the same on the other side. Okay, 
negative Babinski side. I'm going to do the abdominal reflex now, hands to your side. Just gonna stroke from the umbilicus and outward. Just looking to see if the umbilicus kind of follows where I'm going. Very good. Next, we are going to do some deep tendon reflexes. So I'm gonna have you sit at the side of the bed. I'm gonna start with the brachial. Flex your arm for me, feeling for the tendon, relax. Okay, then do this side. I'm gonna come to this side. Flex, relax. Okay, next I'm going to do the brachioradialis. Next, I'm going to do the tricep. Just dangle your arm. Just dangle. Maybe the patella. Straighten this leg out. Let go. Straighten this leg. Let go. Okay, and then we're going to do the Achilles. I'm just going to also have your foot in my hand. Reflexes are two plus bilaterally. I'm gonna have you lay down and, and I'm gonna assess for some ankle clonus. Ready? Okay, no extra movements. Next, we're gonna do the musculoskeletal exam. So I'm just going to inspect um, all your muscles and joints. You can just stay sitting. Um, muscles look symmetrical, no deformities, no redness or swelling or inflammation at your joints. Um, no spasms have been noted. I'm just going to palpate. Any pain or tenderness? No. Okay. Just palpating all the muscles, all the joints. No deformities, no bulges, no masses. Hips are aligned. No inflammation or swelling of your knees. Ankles, feet, and toes. Um, so next I'm going to have you just probably sit up, please. We're going to start with your hands and your wrists. Let me see them. Just palpating the hands and the wrist. Like I said, no nodules, no deformities. We'll do some range of motion. Just follow what I'm doing. Fingers down. Fingers up. Up. Inward. Outward, wrist up, wrist down, some circles, any pain, tenderness, no difficulty, um, range of motion is good. Um, can, can I see your hands outward, please? Push up on my hands with your wrist, push up, okay, and then push down. Okay, strength is five plus bilaterally. Next, we are going to do the elbows. Just gonna inspect and palpate. Helping the electron process, no nodules, no pain, tenderness, swelling. Um, I'm gonna have you do this for me. Okay, and then do this for me. Okay, and then arms up again like this. Don't let me push. Okay, and then don't let me pull. Okay, um, good range of motion. Strength is a five plus bilaterally. I'm just gonna do your shoulders now. Just palpate them. Any pain or tenderness. Okay, lift your shoulders up. Okay, and don't let me push down. Okay. And then also for the shoulders, up over your head and down back behind your back. And then can you do across the body? Um, how about you pretend like you're scratching the back of your neck with both hands? And then reach for the opposite scapula with the, by behind. 
Okay, very good. Um, next, we're going to do the TMJ. Open your mouth, close your mouth, jaws aligned, symmetrical. Open again, close, bite down. Okay, your muscles contracted. Good, very good strength. Next, we're going to do your cervical spine. Um, so your head is aligned with your shoulders. Um, do you, I'm going to have you... You can actually stay sitting. Have you um, turn your head to the side, like turn your head to the other side, up, down, and then ear to each shoulder. Okay, um, press on my hand, press on my hand the other way. Okay, um, circle spine, strength, range of motion is good. Now we're gonna do the thoracic and lumbar. I'm gonna have you stand up for me. I'm just going to palpate along your vertebrae, along the back, the neck, the muscles, no spasms. Uh, muscles are equal any pain or tenderness? No. no. Okay. Um, so your head is also aligned. Your thoracic spine is convex. Your lumbar spine is concave. I'm going to have you reach for your toes. Good. I'm also just checking his spine, make sure it's aligned. And S would indicate scoliosis. Okay, stand up. And then maybe try and re reach backward a little bit. And then can you do a, a rotation at your trunk? All right, very good. I'm gonna just have you, um, you can lay down again. We're gonna do your hips and your knees. So lift this leg up, put it back down, lift the other leg up, down, re put it, bring it out, outward, and across the body. Same with the other leg, outward, across the body. Okay, I want you to bring each knee to your chest. Okay. And then I want you to plant this foot on the bed and then turn inward and do this and then do the same with the other leg, bring it inward and then create a figure four by bending it. Perfect. And one more on the other side. Very good. So I'm going to have you push up on my hands. Okay. And then push down. Okay. Push up. And then push down. Okay. Strength is five plus bilaterally. Good range of motion of the legs and knees. Next, we are going to do, I'm actually gonna be sitting at the side of the bed. That was actually for your hip range of motion. This is gonna be for your knee range of motion. Stick your leg out, put it back, out and back. Push against my hand, pull. Push against my hand, pull. Okay, very good range of motion. Just palpating. Um, now we're gonna do the feet. Just gonna inspect, palpate. You have five toes. Your joints are all aligned. Your ankles are aligned with your tibia. Um, no pain or tenderness around your ankles. No swelling. All um, capillary refill is less than two seconds in your toes. Um, now, I, when you stood up earlier for the Romberg test in your gait, when you're assessing your gait, you were able to bear weight on your feet easily. I'm just gonna have you point your toes to the ceiling, point them down to the floor. Point them inward, outward. Can you just flex your big toe upwards? Perfect. And I'll push up on my hands and then push down on my hands. Okay. Strength, uh, five plus bilaterally for upper and lower extremities. Um, good range of motion in all of your muscle systems. And that concludes my exam. Thank you. Thank you.